Hello, Grace Church. All my life, I have gone to church. All my life, I've gathered with the people of God uh, on Sundays. I so enjoy it. And this has been a difficult time. I've missed being with the people of God. I've missed uh, singing the songs, hearing the scripture, uh, encouraging one another, that the things that happen so often in our times of gathering. I've missed them a lot. And uh, just a few days ago, President Trump asked the governors to open up the churches, to allow churches to gather. And I, I appreciate the fact that he recognizes the need uh, for our nation to experience the, the psych, in our, our national psyche, the need for spiritual life and the essentialness of the times that the church is together. At, at that same uh, announcement, he also asked the churches to continue to abide by the CDC guidelines. And we've read those guidelines and we want to continue to abide by those. And so as we move ahead, it suggests that we slowly integrate the church in the times of gathering. So as the state of Washington, as we move into phase two, there will be this uh, encouragement to gather with your family and five other people. Well, we're calling it Give Me Five. It's this uh, idea that we begin to gather, to encourage each other, to uh, pray with each other. I'm thankful for the scripture that says, we're just two or three gather in my name. I'm there in the midst. So the Lord's gonna be in the, these times of gathering. And as we move into phase three, uh, it increases the size of our gatherings. And so all of our small groups can gather uh, the whole group together and we can increase our small groups. It's a lot like the book of Acts where they met house to house. And so we're calling this house to house. And we continue to grow our small groups, have times where we can gather, maybe the middle school or the high school together, uh, maybe have some times on our back lawn as weather permits. And yet these gatherings will be uh, relatively small in number. As we move into phase four, this is a time that we're going to uh, have family times of gathering. Uh, we won't be able to do kids ministry during this time because we need to continue to follow the guidelines, which has to do with social distancing and all the other things that we have been getting used to doing. Uh, yet in this phase four time, we can gather as a church, we can celebrate together, again, hopefully utilizing our back lawn and uh, be times of uh, encouraging and gathering. Uh, there will be a time that we will get up, gather together as a church like we have in the past, celebrating the goodness of God and being together as a church. And until that time though, we are the church and nothing, no circumstance will ever hinder us from being who God has called us to be. Uh, we've never actually ever closed down. We've always been open to business, open for business to be the people of God in a world that needs us and his people so desperately, in a world who is looking at his people and saying, will you continue to reflect the love and the care and the concerns that Jesus Christ uh, had and lived out? Uh, we need to be his people. Now, all of these things that I've said will probably change because as you know, things have changed a lot and they continue to change as we go down line. And so uh, what we're planning right now is the plan for today. And as things change, we'll make adjust adjustments. The bottom line is this, church, continue to be the church. Continue to be the people who reflect God's grace and his love and his care and his concern. Continue to pray. Continue to, to reach out to others. Continue to read the scripture. Church, you are the church seven days a week. There will be a time we'll gather again together. Yet until then, we are continuing to be who God has called us to be. Grace Church, we love you, we care about you, and I continue to walk with you, and we walk together in this time, and God will be glorified. Amen.